Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Journey YouTube channel. You know, today I'm kinda, you know, for a low, kinda, kinda, kinda low vibe because kinda have some fever, you know, but at the least, you know, I have strength, I have enough strength that I can actually do a video, so that means I'm not really, you know, I'm gonna see, you know, kinda good then. But hope everybody had a good still, you know, this morning we are gonna do a video about the 144,000 four signs that they are actually one of the 144,000 and I'm going to explain a little upon what the 144,000 light workers is. You know, the Christian Bible has a version in, in it about the 144,000 light workers. You know, they don't call them light workers in the Bible though, but they call them saints. And, or whatever, some saints shit. Yeah. Um, but light workers, what light workers, like what light workers are in the universe is. We all know that there is a dark side and a, and, a, and a light side, you know. So you actually have beings that work for the light and you have beings that work for the dark, you know. You have beings that work for the positive and you have beings that work for the negative. And even though you don't know the positive um, and negative is enemies, we still have to learn how to coexist in the universe. That's a great challenge, you know. How to coexist with the demonic entities. You get to me answer because over time, demons become angels, you know. Same with even the earth. Look on some human beings, you know. Them, be a rogue from near them bar and then after a while you know them change them life you get to me as a demon over time to evolution and become angels they check it out by the same thing so dark workers can become light workers you know what but in the beginning some beings chose to do to work for the light and some beings chose to work for the dark but over time we all have got experience light working you know because at a certain point in everyone's evolution you know you have to reach a frequency where you want to help more than the earth you get to me as a so yeah man, 144,000 light workers are beings from higher dimensions, beings from dimensions like 5, 6, 7, 8, you know, beings with more experience. They get to me access so them come back to earth, they incarnate, they can help with the ascension process. And we know that in this time there is a great ascension process, it's called the great ascension, it's called the, the age of Aquarius, you know, the age when knowledge is going to be, knowledge is going to um, be brought to the earth, and every single thing that has been hidden over the years you know so now you know light is gonna be shed and all those aspects that were in the dark you get what I say? yeah man so that the 144 so light workers came to earth to do and the number 144 you know it don't mean say that is the only number of light workers that are going to incarnate to earth it just means say 144 which equals the number 9 is a great spiritual number you know it's a highly karmic number so when you see the number 9, 144 equals 9, it just means that we need that amount of people, that amount of light workers to wake up to actually bring forth the change. Because once you have 144,000, that number, the 9, represents change, spiritual change. You get me I say? Great spiritual change. So once you have that number, you know, the change can easily, the transition can easily happen. But more than 144,000 light workers are actually here right now, honestly, <laughs> you know. So that's why I see the change so, so, so quick. The transition is happening quicker than you know than even the time that our ancestors predicted. The ascension is happening very very fast. You know the rate of ascension actually quicker than most esoteric people did expect. You know. So yeah, man. Four signs now that you actually one of the one that body for light workers. Number one, you're introverted. So you find they are the introverts of society. You know, no, you're not too outspoken, very shy, very introverted. You know, like you by yourself, you like alone time, you know. Because when you take it out, when you take it out, light workers are never really alone, you know, guys. Because we have so much guardians and, you know, beings when they run away from the higher dimension that we're never really truly alone, but we like, that's why we like to be there by ourselves, so the average person has to understand. The average person needs to be around a lot of physical people. But we have a lot of spiritual beings that are in our circle all the time, so we can be introverted. And we love it. We actually thrive in solitude. We thrive in solitude, you get what I say? So that's one of the first signs that you're alive here. But number two, actually I read them, write them down. Because they don't know, sometimes I take it off at the top of my head and may not get lost. You get what I say? So number two, um, they're able to think for themselves. So that means they don't have a single consciousness. They don't, they're not governed by the collective consciousness. So whatever is programmed, Whatever program the collective consciousness that work off, you find say, the light workers, them, you know, the beings who are light workers, a part of the 144,000, 
they will be able to think for themselves. So they might come up with some thoughts and they might see past the illusion of most of the collective I work with. So I find that we are the ones that wake up, you know, the term woke. We are the woke ones because we are not, we are not governed by the collective consciousness. So even though most of the collective work off a certain program, because, you know, that's, that's what it is. Most of the collective work off a certain program, they think the same. But we think different, we, we able to think for ourselves. And even when the collective approach we have portrayed a certain type of thing, we able to look past that and see, say, a, a nonsense, and can able to think for ourselves and bring new insights to the world, you know, to guide them. We are childlike, so that's a number two, number three, we are childlike at art. So always jolly, always love to laugh, even when we are 90 and even when we are 100 and all, we still love to laugh. We jolly, we childlike, very childlike, you know. We like to play, we like to run joke, we like to run pranks and all of that. Very childlike at art, you get what I'm saying? Not childish, you know, childlike. Yeah, very childlike at art, so that's a number three. Number four now, we are usually the black sheep of the family. So if I say chosen one, though, so, um, if you are one of the, if you are one of the 144,000 um, light workers, chosen one, you are find they are the black sheep of the family. So everybody else, you know, everybody go their part. The whole, can you know, so the, the family go reflect the collective, you know. So you are find the most of the people in your family, I think a certain type of way, and then you born and come, I think a different type of way. So now they shown you, and you are the black sheep of the family. You are find ever since you grew up. You know, you think different from everybody else, you know, so they show you from them time, eh, they are the black people of the family, and you're even smarter, so some of the time when they show you in a, in a life, some time when your family show you, it's because, uh, you know, you're, you're smarter than them, and they see that, and this is something different about you, so you're normally the black sheep of the family, they just put you to one side to yourself, you know, we all ask for help sometime in life, and nobody don't want to help you, family may tell you about it, you know, family betray you all the time, and them something, so that may I say, no, we're always the black sheep of the family, you know what I say, so, yeah man, big up, one of the journey YouTube channel. That was four signs that they are one of the 144,000 likes. Give that one love.